We're nonviolent with people who are nonviolent with us. A new set of African American leaders emerged. For many young urban blacks, the most inspiring figure called himself Malcolm X. You are better than the white man. And that's not saying anything. That's not saying you, you know where well just to be equal with him. Who is he to be equal with? A member of the Nation of Islam, he attracted a large following, especially in urban ghettos, calling for black pride, separatism, and self-defense against white violence. Whoever heard of a revolution? Well, they lock arms, singing, we shall overcome. <laughs> Just tell me, you don't do that in a revolution. You don't do any singing, you're too busy swinging. I think Malcolm and Martin are very, very much alike in many, many ways. What they force white America to do is to look at Martin and Malcolm and say, hmm, Malcolm, Martin, Malcolm, Martin. I think I better go with Martin. It's time for you and me to stand up for ourselves. We need radicals in this country because the United States has the ability of taking radical demands and absorbing them in its political system and putting them into more moderate and more generally acceptable reforms. Malcolm X experienced a spiritual transformation when he undertook the Islamic pilgrimage to Mecca, coming to a new understanding of the Brotherhood of Humanity. He begins to redefine his own philosophy and eventually comes to be an admirer of the courage of people who had offered themselves up for beating. It suggested to me that had he lived, and who can say, of course, that he would have been closer and closer to the mainstream civil rights movement than he was to his origins in the uh, nation of Islam. But early in 1965, Malcolm X was assassinated 